Today I thought I'd share with you a quick overview video on our home biogas unit. This one's just going to be a, a basic overview and I'll follow later with a few more videos which will go through a bit of the detail on sort of the sort of things that we feed it, um, the sort of gas levels that we get off of uh, the unit at different times of the year, a bit about the fertiliser as well and um, I might also do another one that runs through a few of the things that we learned when we were setting it up. But for today, I will just give you a bit of a basic intro so that you know what the home biogas units are and what it's done for us and what it could potentially offer you if you're looking at getting something like this. Where we live, we don't have a gas supply on this property and having no gas you know it wasn't too big a deal you know we've got electric stove and things like that in the house but it was always causing some concerns particularly when I was doing things like water bath canning you know putting those big heavy pots of water on the stove that I might have issues with breakage and I also find when cooking you get a much better higher temperature and sear when you're cooking with gas versus electricity so we liked the idea of having gas but didn't really want to be dealing with gas containers and things like that and one day just kind of scrolling and looking at things online I came across the home biogas. At that time it was being offered as a bit of a, a kickstarter and that was back in 2019 and I managed to get on board as one of the early birds and ordered one of these units after I bit of, did a bit of investigation and found that it would tick a lot of the boxes on what we were looking for here on our property. In terms of ticking the boxes, the, the sort of things that I liked was the fact that I wasn't going to have to waste time, you know, dealing with containers of gas like I was talking about before and having to do exchanges and swaps and paying for all that. The other thing that I really liked is the fact that it seemed like a really self-sufficient option where we could be taking waste that we were generating on this property and turning that into a valuable resource, which was the gas. So it was kind of closing the loop for us on our waste and energy supply when it came to, to gas and you know dealing with some of our organic waste. Another thing that ticked the box for us was the fact that it was one unit with all the bits you needed all contained in one box so it, it really felt like a bit of a, a plug and play option that we would be able to install ourselves and I can certainly say through the experience of having put it in yes it does have all the bits and it is kind of plug and play there's a few little things that you learn along the way but you know if you don't mind a bit of giant Meccano for adults it is uh, something that is pretty straightforward to put together and they do have pretty good instructions as well. The company behind it all also seemed pretty ethical on uh, investigation. I mean, it's never a great thing when you're having to ship products from overseas. And yes, it does ship from overseas. So there's going to be some miles and carbon associated with that. But, um, you know, when you look at the company and, and some of the things that they're doing around the world, you know, helping some poor communities and things with, with getting gas and, you know, substituting out fire that's causing issues with people's lungs from smoke and stuff like that. Um, it, it really did look to be, you know, a, a good product from a, a fairly ethical organisation as well. Having made the decision that this did look like a good product for us, uh, we made the purchase through Kickstarter and that was in 2019. Now, Obviously, there was a, a few things that happened uh, towards the end of 2019 and into 2020. And um, that meant that we didn't actually get the product for a while. It was actually towards the back end of uh, 2020 that we ended up receiving our home biogas. At that point, we prepared the area that we're standing on here. Uh, we needed to find a bit of a, a flat spot and uh, in an area that would get some sun that wasn't too far from the house so that the gas could go to the house and we picked this spot here. I will do another video on the full installation and how we went about setting that up but that's some of the key things that we needed when we were siting it. We then needed to run a bit of a gas line and we did that uh, you can kind of see how it goes into this sump here underground. Um, there's a bit of the, the gas pipe on the surface there and from there it's dug in under the ground and goes under the deck. 
to where we have now built our outdoor kitchen area. And this is where our stove sits that came with the home biogas unit. This is the second stove that we've had uh, since having the setup. Now, as with all Kickstarters, sometimes there's a, a few issues with some of the earlier products. And I will say the design of the initial one that we received with the Kickstarter versus this replacement one that they sent us is markedly different. And this stove here is absolutely wonderful. I really do want to call out the customer service that we've had with Home Biogas. When we had an issue with the stove, we reached out to them and they were really quick to replace and provide us with this new stove. And we also had amazing customer service from them when we were actually setting up the unit. You know, we uh, did a couple of things wrong, which I'll share with you when I do that later installation video, but they were really quick to come back to us with the solution. And yeah, it solved the issue we were having and the system has been working pretty great since then. Everyone's always very interested to know how much gas you get with these and it really is going to be dependent on what you're feeding it and what area you live in and the sort of temperature conditions and how much sun it gets. But from our experience in the summer, I probably get a good hour and a half a day of gas off this unit. In the winter, it really does slow down. I hear for some people it stops completely, but not for us. We do tend to still get probably enough to do, maybe about half an hour to an hour of cooking on the stove but it takes a few days to fill up in the winter time. So it, um, again, will depend on the temperature at that time and how much sun is actually on the biogas system itself and how much it warms. But that's the sort of indicative gas levels that we get. It did say with the unit that you would expect to get about two hours a day. But I will say here in southern Australia, we don't get that much. Despite that though, for our usage, this has been absolutely perfect. We do just run this single burner. It allows us to kind of fry things up that might need a higher temperature than inside that we can get on our electric stove. It's a really stable surface that I can use if I do water bath canning. You know, I'm no longer worried about breaking my stove top with the heavy pots. Um, and you know, it's just another source of energy that I can use so that I don't have to use as much electricity in the house. So often if I need to boil something for a long period of time or something like that, it's where I can come out to. And I know I'm not running the electric usage that whole time. So definitely a, a much better self-sufficient and sustainable source of gas for us. Would I recommend a home biogas to someone else? And would I buy another one again? Well, the answer is yes. Um, for our type of usage, it really has been a good addition. I love the fact that we're closing the loop on our energy. I love the fact that I can use a gas source for cooking now. And for us, having that confidence as well when I'm doing water bath canning to, to have a nice stable cooking surface and no risk of actually breaking the glass top on my electric stove, that's been a, a big winner as well. So if you are looking for an option to produce your own gas, um, especially you know, if you're trying to get off the mains or if you're in an off-grid location, these home biogas units are something you might consider. If you're looking for high levels of gas production though, maybe not so much. Um, as you could tell from the sort of figures that we get, it's good for the cooking and usage that we have here. But uh, if it was the only source of gas and you were needing a lot of gas for other purposes, like maybe heating water or heating houses, things like that, you know, I definitely wouldn't be getting enough off of this unit here to be able to supply enough gas for those types of usages. Maybe if you had one of the newer and bigger systems, if you were in an area where the climate is a lot hotter and a lot sunnier, you might be getting to those types of levels of gas production. But for me, with the unit I have and in this location, it really wouldn't be suitable for that. But for the type of usage that I need it for, this really has been a good addition to our property. Thanks for joining. Bye.